Hey everybody, nice to meet you. My name's English teacher Matthew and I'm from the United Kingdom. I was born and raised in the southeast of England. Wow, such an interesting question to begin with. And to be honest with you, it's really hard to choose. I'd probably say red or black or maybe white. But I think my favourite colour out of every colour is probably the colour of this can. I have lots of t-shirts and shirts that are this colour. I think it's burgundy. Yeah, so I really like burgundy. Wow, such a typical uh, question when you first meet somebody. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't really have a favourite film either. However, since Toy Story 4 has come out, I've been really nostalgic about the older Toy Story films. So I'd probably say Toy Story 1 because it's just my childhood. And obviously Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, and now Toy Story 4 kind of followed me throughout my life. Maybe when I'm a grandfather, there'll be Toy Story 5 or Toy Story 6. But if you haven't seen Toy Story, you've got to watch it. I think it's a perfect film for every member of the family. And I think even the adults can in, enjoy and appreciate the humour too. Hmm. To be honest, I think I have a lot of guilty pleasures. And... I'd probably say the number one guilty pleasure I have is probably crisps or, as you American guys say, potato chips. Um, so I'd probably say crisps, salt and vinegar crisps, um, British flavour. I don't know if you can buy them um, in other places, but if you come across a packet of uh, Lay's or Walker's uh, salt and vinegar crisps, man, they're my favourite. Simple question. I think if I could have any superpower, then I would want the superpower that Mel Gibson has in the film What Women Want. Um, I think that's the name of the film, What Women Want. Check it out. It's a really old movie, but really good. And um, in this movie, Mel Gibson can think and uh, know what other women are thinking. So I'd probably say that superpower. But... Um, I would also like to uh, have Harry Potter's invisibility cloak too, so I could go everywhere. If I could meet one person, then I would probably choose uh, Prince Harry, um, our Queen's grandson, second grandson. He has had a lot of bad press in his life for the choices he's made, um, including when he was a child, and even now with his choice of wife. I don't know if you know, but he's married to the American, or ex-actress, I guess now, the American actress, Meghan Markle. And, um, yeah, I think a lot of people are jealous of him, but I think he's a good guy. I think he's someone you could probably sit down with and just have a chat, even though he's uh, got blue blood, he, he's from such high society. And I think uh, he would just be a nice guy that you could chat with, so I'd probably say Prince Harry. <sighs> Tough question, but I think I would probably say... One of the biggest misconceptions people have about me is that I'm really, really serious. I don't know, maybe it's my face, but I think um, maybe some people think that I'm very, very serious, but actually underneath everything, I'm not that serious. Sometimes I am just very sarcastic, and I think some people don't understand it. That, that's what I would say, probably. There are probably a million ways and a million reasons why English is really important and learning English is essential for everybody. But I think one reason is by learning English, you can learn a lot more about the world. I heard a statistic that most of the internet is written in English. Most books are written in English. So I feel by learning English, you're just increasing your knowledge about the world and about other things. And that's why I think learning English is important. Moreover, I believe English is the international language of the world. If there was an international, if there was an international language in the world, then I would definitely say English is it. So if you want to be more internationalist, again, learning English is vital, in my opinion. Again, I don't know if I have a favourite word. But what I do like is I do like adverbs and using adverbs. So I probably say words like basically or obviously or clearly. Words like this. Mainly 
because I feel that I use them a lot. Or phrases like, to be honest, you've probably heard me say to be honest about five million times by now in this video. So you can see what I mean, maybe. But I really like uh, using these kind of words. I don't think there's a specific word in English that I like. There are words in other languages that I like. But um, in English, um, to be honest, no. I'd probably say Cockney rhyming slang. I don't know if you know about that. Google it or um, search it on any good search engine. But Cockney rhyming slang is a kind of idiomatic language or phrases that people in London and the southeast of England use. So I'd probably say these kind of things um, where we would say, for example, um, apple and pears, that means stairs, dog and bone means phone, this kind of thing. I think it's colourful and it reminds me of home. As someone who's learnt languages before, um, I think I would say surround yourself with English. So everything you listen to or watch or read, it should be in English. Change your phone language to English. If, you're, if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, maybe you can change uh, Siri or Google to English and not the language that you use. I would probably say these things firstly. And then whatever your hobby is, instead of uh, doing it in your language, do it in English. That's the best way. And secondly, do it little but often. That means do it every day, but not for hours. Half hour every day. I think you will improve over time. Such a great question. I think the biggest reason why I became a teacher was because that I have always wanted to help other people. Um, and at the beginning, I wanted to be something else because I felt that was a good way to help people. However, over time, um, especially uh, after graduating from university, I realized actually teaching is a great profession because in the profession, you can help lots of people improve and you can see that improvement. So um, that's why I became a teacher. Honestly, um, I like seeing people improve and um, I feel that it's a fulfilling and rewarding job. These are really cliche um, reasons why I enjoy teaching, but I think it's just a good profession. You feel like you're giving back to a community you're giving back to the world. That's why I think it's good. Like, um, you can do so many things, and I'm sure whatever you do is really good, but to be honest with you, I feel like in teaching, you're like giving back to the world. Like you're saying, thanks for giving me a life, and uh, here is here is me giving um, back. So that's why I think teaching is a, a great profession to get into. Maybe it's not the highest paying job in the world, and maybe lots of people think it's not great, but I think it is, and that's the biggest reason why. If um, someone wanted to be a teacher in the future, then the advice I would give them is firstly, be knowledgeable about the subject you want to teach, because if you are knowledgeable about it, people will believe in you more as a teacher. And secondly, be very well prepared. Being prepared as a teacher is so important, and I think um, added on to that. I think if you are really, really patient, I think that teaching is a profession you should consider because if you are really patient, I think you can be a really good teacher. Wow, okay, so yeah, for all the shy people out there, I can kind of understand um, you because I think when I was young, when I was in primary school, I think I was quite a shy person. So I think I know how it feels. But the biggest thing that helped me to overcome it was to actually get out there. Um, also, I feel that if you have a really good group of friends around you who can give you confidence and um, belief, uh, that will help you too. But I think one way to overcome something, especially a fear, is just by doing it. Because to be honest with you, even if you fail, you're just going to be back at the, the square that you were at the, at the beginning, right? So if you, for example, want to do public speaking, but you're really shy, just try it. Because 
if you're not so good at it or you fail at it, you're just going to be back where you were before. So that's what I would say. Um, that's my tip. This is why I think uh, social media is great, because social media is basically a free resource for you to study. Like if you are an English learner and you are broke, you have no income, use social media because social media is free. Lots of people are making content nowadays. I think it's a popular thing people do. Like I think most people now have Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or Snapchat or TikTok, all of these different applications. And I think if you download all of these applications on your phone and browse them occasionally, I think you can learn something new every day. However, in terms of learning to speak English, I think maybe not. You need to find a speaking partner for that. But in terms of everything else, I think it's a great resource. This is a great question because this goes back a little bit to the shyness question you asked me a few questions ago, but basically the biggest thing I've learned about myself by using social media and putting myself out there is that um, actually um, after putting myself out there a little bit, it helped me to be less shy and be more confident and helped me believe in myself a little bit more. So that's the biggest thing. Also the second biggest thing is that uh, maybe before I suffered a little bit from what is called imposter syndrome. Like, you kind of like think, like, am I really good at this? Or um, do I know what I'm talking about? But after watching myself and um, critiquing myself over time, because I think as a teacher, it's something you should do, as it, it, well, especially in regards to the lessons, that I feel that I've become more confident um, and I believe in myself a little bit more and I think that I'm actually good at what I do. Well, I think that there are many reasons why social media is bad and bad for humanity, but I think the biggest uh, thing that makes me annoyed or makes me not happy is the fact that somebody can be on a place like Instagram or YouTube or Twitter, have no uh, photo, like their, their photo is of an egg or something or of a or of cartoon character, and their name is uh, something funny like... Uh, I don't know, Hello Pants 59 and uh, they just uh, troll everybody. Um, I know it's hard to police, you don't really want to be like the People's Republic of China about this, but I think, um, yeah, this is the worst thing. Like people, there are actually people who sit in their bedroom or wherever they are and just write negative comments um, that bring other people down. I think that really makes me sad and angry. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's probably a video like this one. Um, I've always thought about doing some kind of a Q&A video about myself. Um, so probably something like this. So when I was asked to do this, I thought, ah, it's a good opportunity. So um, yeah, some of the questions you're asking me are very interesting. But um, um, yeah, some, some kind of video like this where I can introduce myself properly, probably. So Teacher Will is a kind-hearted and a generous man who is very dedicated and enthusiastic and I believe really enjoys what he does and is a good thing for our world. Um, that's what I think. And um, he really wants to make a good community of English learners who learn together, as he says. We learn together, right? So. Yeah, I think um, that's what I would say. That's how I would describe you. That's how I would describe Teacher Will. Well, for me, insight is basically having the ability to gain or get a deeper understanding of something. And I think it's uh, what everybody is searching for in the world. They're searching for insight into what they want to know, what they want to learn. Maybe for you guys and girls who are watching this video right now, if you got up to this point, um, you probably want to gain insight into English, you want to learn English very deeply, you want to become like a native speaker, right? You want to be able to speak to everybody in English about everything. So for you, that's what insight is. But me, insight is like, yeah, gaining a deeper understanding, gaining deeper knowledge about something. So firstly, uh, I'd just like to thank you so much, Teacher Will, for asking me to do this. It was an honor and a pleasure. And I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you so much. 
Uh, secondly, to you guys and girls, the learners, I just want to say um, keep, keep learning, keep practicing, keep studying, keep doing what you're doing. Remember, um, one way to improve the speaking is um, by speaking. So do that. Speak to people. Find meetup groups. Find someone to speak English with. Also, if you're worried about your accent, then for me, I don't think you should worry about it too much. I think pronunciation, word stress, intonation, these are more important. The accent just tells us where you're from. But anyway, keep practicing and have a great day.